Louisiana is seeing a lack of affordable housing, which has now been made worse due to Hurricane Ida. Yeah, today our Anam Siddiqui spoke with a local realtor. Anam, why is it so hard to find housing right now? Kellyanne and Tavarius, whether it's renting or buying a place to stay across the state, there's a shortage of affordable housing. Not only is it going to take you a while to buy or rent a home, but rebuilding from Hurricane Ida can and will take months to do. Over the course of the last three months, I can't tell you how many contracts I've actually written inside of the home I'm showing. Baton Rouge realtor Dylan Thompson says this is a perfect time to buy a home because of low interest rates. However, the problem is and housing just keeps getting shorter and shorter as far as supply is concerned. Thompson says housing options were low prior to the storm. An LSU housing study says there were about 46 affordable units for every 100 low income households in 2016. The demand has increased since Hurricane Ida. We're seeing an influx of people from the Bayou parishes, so places like Terrebonne and Lafourche, um, even some Plaquemines Parish and St. Bernard. Um, those people need a place to go. And so, you know, they've been contacting us and looking for some sort of short term rental. Residents with uninhabitable homes have the option to apply for FEMA housing assistance. It's called transitional sheltering assistance. This is temporary housing to put a roof over people's heads. There are two main ways that we do this, either providing uh, assistance financially for people to rent temporary housing, or we can place people in a hotel. Thompson says people are considering moving from the Bayou Parishes to the Ascension and Baton Rouge areas. They're just looking for help, and we're just doing all we can to accommodate them. Louisiana Senators John Kennedy and Bill Cassidy say they're both pushing for federal assistance for housing, but no plans have been set yet. We have information that can help you find housing posted to our BeOurProud.com website. Reporting live in the studio, Anam Siddiqui, Fox 44 News. All right, thank you, Anam.